hello friends today i'm going to teach how to draw assembly diagram of the transformer so let me open first autocad so in that you have to set it for units so unit it will be millimeter type units in command prompt select millimeter then we have to set it for a4 size for that type limits type 0 comma 0 type 297 comma 210 type zoom enter all enter then your screen is set for a4 size so first draw vertical and horizontal line to draw the sectional plan of the transformer so for that ortho you have to select draw vertical and horizontal line core dimension he has given that is 64 comma 110 now divide it by 2 64 that is 32 110 by uh, 2 that is uh, it will be uh, 55 so offset type offset type 32 and select what horizontal line, line as a reference and click upward and uh, downward similarly vertical line as a reference click left and right and select again type uh, offset in that type uh, 110 that is 110 divided by 2 that is 55 select horizontal line as a reference click upward and downward and select vertical line click left and right of the vertical line now select all and trim whichever is not required now draw circle by selecting the center point of the square draw circle like this then dimension he has given for that type circle or select circle here and in that uh, you have to type D so that you will be entering diameter that is 133 similarly again type C it means that uh, circle will be selected and the center point of the circle you have to select type D and again next diameter will be 152 again next circle select the center point of the circle type D circle diameter will be 170 next one more circle type C select center point of the circle type D for the diameter enter enter the diameter that will be 210 so these are all the diameters of your uh, LV coil as well as the HV coil inner circle of the LV coil inner circle of the HV coil outer circle of the LV coil and outer circle of the HV coil now draw horizontal line type offset that will be 110 as yoke dimension and again type offset that will be 330 window height and again type offset in that yoke dimension you need to mention that will be 110 again So these lines you need to draw so that we can draw elevation of the transformer. So first you need to draw the one core portion later you need to project. So draw horizontal line here. So uh, first draw vertical lines up to the last horizontal line. Later you can draw all the lines up to this first horizontal line project all the lines or you can draw the tangent of all the circles up to this first horizontal line you need to draw tangent 
for all the circles up to first horizontal line. Later we can extend this line up to the last horizontal line. So by using extend command. So draw like this all the horizontal lines. vertical lines now select extend command so you need to extend up to last horizontal line for that you have to select first last horizontal line and click it on vertical lines so it will be extended to last horizontal line now trim whichever is not required So by using trim command you to trim all the lines whichever is not required. Now your half portion of transformer is ready that is the elevation part half portion of uh, elevation now go for hatching in that you need to select NC131 select scale that will be 2 now select HV coil here so you need to select different type of hatching for HV and LV so now you can select and see 137 for LV coil so select LV coil now enter ok you can see LV and HV coil clearly with the different hatching so this is your sectional plan of the transformer and come to elevation part so here also same hatching you need to select and see 137 for LV coil so this is your LV coil next go for HV coil and see 131 So this is your HV coil. So this is a elevation portion. Now select this elevation portion. First before that you have to select mirror and select this portion. and go for mirror extend this core part up to the last horizontal line so this is your elevation of one limb of the transformer Now you need to go for mirror of this for that either you can use mirror or you can go for offset for that you should know uh, center to center distance between the core so that you need to calculate here so 
so that is calculated here for that you have to select row 1 column will be 2 and uh, column offset that is nothing but it's a center to center distance between the core that will be nearly 240 so this is by using array command so here complete elevation and signal plan of the transformer is ready you can select height and you can increase the height of the text so like this we can increase the text size and select all and go for trim so that we can trim whichever is not required to calculate center to center distance between the core you should know the window width that will be 130 and core width already he has given that will be 110 so both the side you have to select so 55 from one first limb and 55 from the second limb so 55 plus 55 110 plus 130 that is window width so that will be 240 now you can mark all the dimension by selecting dimension option You can check here your height that is 110. So, in the offset, you have to mention the your height initially that will be 110. Later, we have added 330. Later, again, your height that will be 110. So, in this way, you have to select the offset. So, you can see here window height that will be 330. Three thirty is the window height. Later, we can change the size of the text by selecting text option. So here we can change. We can check here window width that is 130 130 plus 55 plus 55 that will be 240 Now you need to hatch the insulation for that solid hatching you have to select select solid hatching and select this insulation HV insulation if you are not able to hatch that one then you have to select a rectangle and draw a rectangular strip over the insulation portion and then go for hatching so 
so what we have to do here so we have to draw a rectangular strip so let me hatch first sectional plan so I have selected LV insulation first later solid hatching later you have to hatch HV insulation solid hatching so select this portion similarly for second core or second limb so LV insulation and HV insulation together we can hatch so like this so it's an insulation LV and HV insulation now in the elevation part so what you have to do we have to draw a rectangular strip over the HV insulation later we can hatch by using solid hatching like this similarly LV insulation select rectangle and draw a rectangle strip over the LV insulation like this select it and draw a rectangle strip over the LV insulation next select solid hatching so like this similarly we can hatch for other core also now draw this horizontal line from one name to other limb later select center line to draw center portion of the core so select this center line like this we can draw the lines for the center portion of the core that is for elevation part so this is the complete sectional plan and elevation of single phase transformer Later you can save this diagram Thank you for watching this video